Imagine making a billion dollars in a single day. George Soros did just that. George Soros, a name that has echoed through the corridors of global finance for decades. Known as the man who broke the Bank of England, this Hungarian-born financier, philanthropist and political activist has a story that reads like a financial thriller. In 1992, Soros made an audacious move that would cement his legacy in the annals of financial history. Amid economic uncertainty and currency turmoil, he saw an opportunity. He believed that the British pound was overvalued and predicted that the Bank of England would have to devalue it. Betting against the currency, he shorted the pound, a high-risk strategy that could have led to colossal losses. But Soros was right. When the Bank of England conceded defeat and withdrew the pound from the European exchange rate mechanism, the pound plummeted and Soros made a staggering one billion dollars in a single day. But before he became the man who broke the Bank of England, Soros was a young boy growing up in Hungary. Born in 1930, he experienced firsthand the ravages of war and the oppressive grip of communist rule. It was these experiences that shaped not only his worldview, but also his determination to succeed. In 1947, he escaped the Iron Curtain and fled to England. There he studied at the London School of Economics, laying the groundwork for his future in finance. Little did he know then that he would go on to become one of the wealthiest and most influential people in the world. So how did a young immigrant from Hungary become the man who broke the Bank of England? a titan of finance and a billion-dollar philanthropist. Let's delve deeper. From studying at the London School of Economics to setting foot on Wall Street, Soros's journey was anything but ordinary. George Soros, a name synonymous with financial acumen, had a journey that began at the London School of Economics. Here he studied under renowned philosopher Karl Popper, the man who coined the term open society. Popper's influence on Soros was profound, shaping his worldview and eventually his approach to investing. His time at the London School of Economics was more than just a stepping stone to a career in finance. It was a period of intellectual growth that would lay the groundwork for his future endeavours. After completing his studies, Soros embarked on his professional journey. He landed his first job in finance at Singer and Friedlander, a reputable London-based merchant bank. There, he cut his teeth on the intricacies of the financial world, gaining invaluable experience that would serve him well in the years to come. But the call of the new world was irresistible. In 1956, Soros packed his bags and moved to New York City, the bustling heart of global finance. He joined FM Mayer, a brokerage firm, where he specialized in European stocks. Now you might wonder why European stocks? At the time, they were not in vogue on Wall Street. But Soros, always the contrarian, saw an opportunity where others saw none. His deep understanding of European markets, coupled with his unique investment philosophy, set him apart from his peers. In a world dominated by conventional thought, Soros was anything but conventional. His knack for spotting undervalued assets, his willingness to take calculated risks, and his ability to think beyond the status quo were traits that distinguished him in the competitive world of finance. And so, as he navigated the tumultuous waves of Wall Street, Soros was not just surviving, he was thriving. His unique approach to investing, his unyielding determination, and his knack for turning adversity into opportunity were paving the way for a career that would eventually make him one of the most successful investors of all time. With a solid foundation in finance, Soros was ready to make his mark on Wall Street. In 1970, Soros launched the Quantum Fund. Little did the world know it was just the beginning of a financial revolution. The Quantum Fund, an offshoot of Soros Fund Management, marked a pivotal point in Soros's career and in the world of hedge funds. It was more than just a fund, it was a financial game-changer. With Soros at the helm, the fund adopted an aggressive investment style that was both daring and audacious. At the core of the Quantum Fund's strategy was a simple principle. High risk can lead to high reward. Soros was not afraid to take big bets and these bets often paid off handsomely. One of the most famous of these was the bet against the British pound in 1992, a move that earned Soros the nickname, the man who broke the Bank of England. 
It was a gamble that paid off spectacularly, netting the Quantum Fund a profit of $1 billion in a single day. But the Quantum Fund was about more than just one successful trade. It was a consistent performer, delivering annual returns that often exceeded 20%. This level of performance was unheard of at the time and set a new standard for hedge funds. The fund's success did not come without controversy. Soros's high-stakes investing style was often criticized, and he was accused of causing economic instability. But regardless of the criticism, there was no denying the results. The Quantum Fund was a runaway success, and it catapulted Soros into the financial stratosphere. The Quantum Fund was more than just a financial success story. It was a testament to Soros' vision and his fearless approach to investing. It showed the world that it was possible to achieve extraordinary returns, even in the face of extraordinary risk. Soros' success with the Quantum Fund catapulted him into the financial stratosphere, but he was far from done. Money in the bank is one thing, using it to change the world is another, and Soros has done just that. George Soros is not just a financial genius, he's also a philanthropist of global proportions. He established the Open Society Foundations, a network of foundations, partners and projects in more than 100 countries. Its name and work reflect Soros' commitment to Karl Popper's philosophy of open society, which emphasizes respect for individual rights, freedom of expression and diverse democratic governance. Soros's philanthropic efforts extend to a wide range of causes. He has donated billions to improve education, both in his native Hungary and around the world. His contributions have built schools, funded scholarships and supported academic research, all with the goal of fostering critical thinking and opening minds. Public health is another area where Soros has left a significant imprint. His donations have helped to build healthcare facilities, train medical personnel and conduct groundbreaking research. Also, he has made substantial contributions to combat some of the world's most challenging health crises. And then there's the matter of civil liberties. Soros has been a vocal and financial supporter of organizations that protect human rights and promote social justice. He believes in a world where everyone has a voice and he's used his wealth to help make that vision a reality. But Soros's influence isn't limited to philanthropy. He's also been a significant player in the political arena, using his resources to support progressive and liberal causes. His political contributions have often been controversial, but they've also played a role in shaping policy and public opinion. From fighting for education and health, to standing up for civil liberties and progressive politics, Soros has used his wealth not just to accumulate more wealth, but to effect change on a global scale. His philanthropy and political influence have left an indelible mark on the world. From Wall Street to the world stage, Soros' influence is undeniable. Love him or hate him, there's no denying that George Soros has left an indelible mark on the world. His story is one that resonates with the rhythm of resilience, risk and reward. Born in Budapest, surviving the Holocaust and later fleeing communist rule, Soros' journey is a testament to his tenacity. Soros' financial success is unparalleled. He played the game of high-stakes finance like a virtuoso, orchestrating some of the most audacious bets in financial history. His investment prowess is legendary. With the quantum fund, his brainchild, delivering staggering returns and cementing his status as one of the world's preeminent investors. But Soros is not just about making money. His philanthropic efforts are equally noteworthy. The Open Society Foundations, a network of foundations, partners and projects in over 100 countries, is a testament to Soros's belief in the power of democracy and open society. From funding scholarships for disadvantaged students to supporting civil society groups, Soros has used his wealth to effect change on a global scale. And let's not forget his political influence. Soros has never shied away from expressing his views, often putting his money behind his beliefs. His contributions to progressive causes and candidates have drawn both praise and criticism, but they've undoubtedly influenced political landscapes around the world. The legacy of George Soros is complex and multifaceted. It's a story of a man who turned adversity into advantage, who saw opportunities where others saw risk and who believed in the power of an open society. It's a story of a man who used his influence and wealth to change the world according to his vision. 
Whether it's breaking the Bank of England or funding scholarships for thousands of students, Soros' story is a testament to the power of one individual to change the world.